this. It's not a huge one, but uh, it's a start. Beautiful uh, white meat on these uh, perch and um, great mild flavor. So if I catch enough of these, I'll have myself a good breakfast. Hi everyone, I'm coming to you today from beautiful Long Beach in southwest Washington. I'm here with my wife Joanne and our dogs Diesel and Rudy. We're enjoying a wonderful November day. It's 55 degrees and sunny and uh, wow, it's just amazing out here. You know, the coast of Washington has an abundance of life. Offshore, there are surf perch to be had, red tail to be specific. So I'm going to do a little fishing today, show you some techniques. I'm going fishing. show you a simple surf fishing setup for these red tail perch. I've got a nine and a half foot spinning rod. I'm uh, loaded up with 12 and 14 pound monofilament. And on the working end of things, this is called a crappie um, rig. And basically what it is, you've got a swivel on the top and then your rig has one little 90 degree wire a second one and then your terminal down to a to a weight depending on how heavy the surf is you want to use anywhere from one to five ounces now five ounces this rod may not handle that but three I've got three ounces it's working good off of the wire on the crappie rig there's some monofilament to a number four hook we've got two of those and the bait I'm using today is Berkeley saltwater gulp worms. You can use other things like uh, clam necks, um, little pieces of garden worm, shrimp. Um, these fish uh, will eat a lot of different things. Now for my weight, I like to go with this disc style. It, uh, for me, it, it sits pretty good on the, on the bottom of the ocean there. And it doesn't move around too much. A lot of guys will use pyramid sinkers. Again, one to five ounces, depending on the amount of surf that you got going on. But um, it seems to work well for me. So I've gotten a few bites out there, but nothing that I could set a hook to. So I'm gonna go back out and give it another try. talk a little bit about safety out here when you're surf perch fishing both when you're out in the water and also when you're on the beach you probably notice we have vehicles driving by the beach is considered a public roadway and the speed limit is 25 so you got to keep your eyes open for people that are driving by make sure you're safe make sure they're not going to run into you that guy right there. The other thing you want to watch out for is when you're out in the water, now you can see I'm wearing waders. One thing I don't have and I should have is a PDF uh, life jacket because if you get knocked down out there, um, that undercurrent can be pretty strong and you can get washed out really quick and uh, it's just important to keep yourself safe. You don't need to be going out deep into the surf I generally don't go out past my knees 
that's plenty far for me to cast the two to three ounce weight with my bait out into the surf where the fish are. They're going to be in anywhere from a foot to five feet of water, five, six feet of water. So you're going to work your bait back in to cover the various depths. You don't need to cast it out a country mile to get these fish.